to beginner smoothies or smoothies for beginners. I've taught this smoothie recipe to a lot of people and it's so easy, it's very nutritious. I want people to get some fruit inside of them in the morning. This is something you can make and then drink while you're getting ready for work in the morning or you can take it with you in the car and I'm even going to show you a great cup that you can use to do that that doesn't spill. The thing I want you to start with is flaxseed. You can get flaxseed at Whole Foods in the bulk section. Don't buy it already ground up. Buy it whole. Because once it's ground up, it starts to lose its potency within like a half a day or a day. But when it's in these, what they call, um, well, I don't know what they call it. <laughs> when it's still whole like this, it has a long shelf life. And you can store it in a little Tupperware type container. This is Rubbermaid and just keep it in your cabinet. Now all you need is one or two tablespoons. No more than two tablespoons. This is a thing where more is not better. One tablespoon will do you. The trick is you have to put the flaxseed into your blender by itself dry. If your blender is already wet and hasn't dried out, Here's the trick. Buy an inexpensive coffee bean grinder. I use these to uh, grind coffee beans when I have friends over who drink coffee. But it's fantastic for grinding uh, flaxseed. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the intermediate smoothie. But because my blender is dry, I'm just going to put in one tablespoon because I'm making just one smoothie. If you're making smoothie for two people or you're making one for yourself for today and you want to save more for tomorrow and you're making two servings, then put in two tablespoons. Put it up here. Turn, <laughs> turn on your blender. That's not... For a few seconds. Now I have a blender that's called a Vitamix. This is a super duper blender, but you can do this smoothie, the flaxseed, and any blender. Now the ingredients I'm going to put in ah, dry flaxseed. Dry flaxseed. <laughs> the ingredients I'm going to put in are fruit and water. You don't need juice. You're putting in so much fruit that juice isn't needed. Now I always put a banana into the smoothie. So I'll put that in first. And a lot of people put ice in their smoothie. I only put ice in if the fruit I'm putting in is not frozen. So most of the time, I'm using frozen fruit. Look at this. I buy bags of frozen fruit, especially when they're on sale. I've got peaches here. I've got blackberries, strawberries, and cherries. All kinds of fruit comes frozen. Or you can freeze your own. Like, I bought a lot of blueberries at the farmer's market this year. Five pound boxes, ten pound boxes. I bring them home and I freeze them on cookie sheet trays in the freezer. Once they're frozen, I put them in bags. Don't wash uh, these blueberries before you freeze them. I don't know why. It's an old wives' tale or something. That's what I've been told. So I freeze them in these freezer bags. Well, I freeze them on cookie sheet trays, then I put them in, in the freezer bags. And then I rinse them out before I put them in my smoothie. So you see I have some blueberries in here. So I have some frozen fruit. And after I rinsed it, before I turned on the the movie. <laughs> they stuck to the colander. So I got my banana in here, I've got blueberries, and I'm going to put a peach and I'm going to cut it up somewhat. Now with the super duper blender like I have, I don't have to cut it up too much, but in your regular blender you might have to cut it up a little more. And because my peach was not frozen, I've got a little bit of ice in here, but you can see this is a 16 ounce cup. I have some water. I threw some ice in there because I knew it might not be cold enough with the peach and the banana. 
put it on. Now, I always suggest that you taste it first. If it's too warm for you, put the smoothie back in, throw a few ice cubes in, blend it up. If it's too cold for you and you don't like that freezer burn headache, I can't stand the freezer burn headache, put it back in the blender and blend it up for another half a minute or a minute. Blending it will warm it up. And then you can pour it into your cup. Mm. Yummy. Now I said you might want to take it with you. There are these fantastic cups that Tupperware makes. They have a lid. Now I've had mine for years. I keep changing the colors on these, but I do have the catalog. Excuse me. They call it Tupperware Impressions Tumblers, and they're not cheap. In this one, they are $24.50 for four. And one time I bought some uh, for some friends' kids. And I was able to get a set of blue for the boy, because of course he didn't want a pink or a purple cup. And then for their girl, I got the set of the multicolor. So when you pour it in here, it has a nice tight fitting lid. And you can either put that in the refrigerator and drink it the next morning, or you can take it with you in the car. So that's beginner smoothie. Make sure that you watch my video on smoothies for intermediate and smoothies for advanced because those incorporate even more nutrition, but I still make it delicious. I don't want a smoothie that tastes weird. I want a smoothie that tastes good. So here's to your health.